welcome to Burnside Highlights for this week of May 25th, 2022. And I'm standing here in the foyer of the Civic Centre, admiring the wonderful work of the Burnside Knitting Group. All of the funds that they raise from the sale of their items go to charity. So they've done a wonderful job and the display is here till the end of this week. Here is a copy of the Adelaide East Herald that has boomeranged back I was very pleased to see its return as it provides great opportunities for our council and community to promote events and communicate with those of you, like me, who still like a paper form of communication. Our quarterly focus newsletter will be delivered to your letterboxes by Australia Post during the week commencing 30th of May. I am sure that you will enjoy reading the various articles on community activities, local places and our magnificent environment. These three are the pillars of our strategic plan. There are a few engagements open at the moment. You will find one in your winter focus next week. That is the community consultation about the proposed redevelopment of the Dulwich Community Centre. Your neighbourhood budget is open until the 17th of June. So look on the website and you can see the different projects that have been nominated and you can vote for the ones you like best. There is 40,000 dollars to be spent. You should also be aware of the consultation on the Council's draft master plan connecting people to places. The draft seeks your comments on this plan for people, movement, traffic and urban form to plan for our future growth in this city. If you have not visited our Council website recently, please look at the excellent new feature. Up in the top right hand corner, you'll find an icon that allows you to read the website in one of many different languages, including Mandarin Chinese, which is the most spoken language in Burnside after English. Please check this out and let me know if there are any languages that are missing. On Friday this week is the beginning of National Reconciliation Week. And there are a number of events here happening in the Civic Centre throughout the week. So hopefully you can be involved in your efforts to support reconciliation in this special time of being brave and making change. I'm now standing in the Bill Dean Lounge in the Burnside Civic Centre. It's a bit wet and cold outside for recording. And uh, in here we have a, a couple of groups, the beautiful doll sewing group who meet here every Wednesday morning, and another group of people who also meet on Wednesday morning to have fun and socialise with each other. Work has commenced with the Penfold Park Master Plan improvements that entail a new playground, new bike rails, improved rubble paths, bollards, and tree plantings. The Autumn Leaf Collection Program that I mentioned last time is still ongoing. Please rake up your leaves, not branches though, from the Council Street trees and place them on the verge near your gutter. To register for a leaf pickup for the following week, call Council on 8366 4200, no later than 3 p.m. on Friday afternoon. The local native plant giveaway opens this Friday, the 27th of May. Place your order quickly online to avoid disappointment and please donate to support a charity. Last year, it was Fauna Rescue who benefited. Go to the Burnside Biodiversity website to find out more and order plants, shrubs and wildflowers. The native tree giveaway continues too. That is a free tree to plant in your yard up to the value of $75. Just contact customer service if you are interested in gaining a voucher. Congratulations to our staff on some recent achievements. Burnside Council won the Park of the Year Award for the Kensington Wama Kensington Gardens Reserve Project at the Park and Leisure Australia, South Australian Northern Territory 2022 Region Awards of Excellence on May the 12th. We now progress to the National Awards. Our Urban Forest Interactive Map was also awarded a commendation for excellence in the best use of technology category. The multi-award winning The Shed in Conningham Street was a finalist in the Institute of Public Works Engineering of Australasia Awards in New Zealand on May the 4th. And although it did not win, it was shortlisted in the top three projects from across Australia and New Zealand for excellence in design and or construction of a public works project, civil, costing between two to $5 million. On that positive note, I will close and see you again in two weeks time. <laughs>